This is a Pele Media Podcast. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in again today to Goonies Minute. Goonies Minute is the fan podcast where we carefully explore the movie Goonies Minute by Minute. I'm Brady. And this is Chris. And Chris. We have a Patreon, our very first Goonies Minute Patreon episode. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to be joined by Movies by Minutes brethren Scott over at Pirates of the Caribbean Minute is going to be joining us. And we're going to be going down our list of uh, our top three favorite pirate movies or pirate related movies. You know, The Goonies is definitely a film that is pirate related, if not a pirate movie itself. Right. In right. the sense, yeah, you get what I'm saying. In the sense that, like, um, let's say Pirates of the Caribbean might be or Treasure Island or. Even Cutthroat Island. Are you familiar with Cutthroat Island? What is that? Something tells it, me I've heard of that. It came out in like the early 90s, uh, and it had Matthew Modine in it and Franklin. It was a pirate movie. It sounds movie like so, – what, was it a goof? No, no. It was this, a serious okay, movie. Okay, it was. Then I haven't seen yeah. it. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Uh, How about Swiss Family Robinson? Oh, hell yeah. Dude, Swiss that was Robinson. that was my first ever pirate movie that I ever watched really? many, many years ago as a kid. I loved that and movie. And we're talking about the original. Yes. Yeah. I That's love awesome. that. Well, hey, there you go. There's a few titles right there that might be included in uh, in the Here's in the rundown. To you, Mrs. Robinson. There you go. Some somehow related. Oh, or no, not. it's not. It's the only thing related is Robinson. This is Robinson. Hey, that's good enough for me. Hey, you know what else could be related to this? What's that? I don't know if it's related, but how about getting into the minute? No, it's very related. Let's get into the minute. In the previous minute, the gang spotted an exit and were almost all the way out before Mikey convinced them that continuing the journey through the fireplace was the only way. The gang followed his orders and began to climb down the hole under the fireplace. Chunk screamed for their help from inside the soundproof freezer. At minute 46, the gang continued to file down the hole one by one. Mikey makes it down and Bran pulls the fake fireplace over the hole just in time. The Fratellis walk into the room and Jake looks over the counterfeit money printer. At that moment, Ma Fratelli notices that someone must have been there. She orders Jake and Francis to go check on their brother and says that he better not have broken free of his chains again. As the Fratellis leave the room, Chunk is finally able to make his way out of the freezer. And thus ends Minute 46 of The Goonies. So, okay, one of the things that I like about this minute is the sort of clustered nature of it. Uh, the editing is it's, it's really nifty right here um, because... We're seeing different feet going down the tunnel and mm-hmm. then different heads of the different people going down. And it's just cut so um, – it's just got such a, like a clustered nature it's to it. It's a cluster. I, There's no question. There's uh, a yeah. lot of talking going on. There's a lot of talking going on. There's also a lot of talking you can't understand. Yeah, absolutely. And then, of course, you know, intercutting that with the Fratellis getting closer is just kind of upping the clock. Uh, so it's very, it's very nerve-wracking. No, you can't, you can't tell who's doing what in a lot of these scenes. There's no question about that. Hey, one thing I wanted to mention, remember we talked about the narrowness of that yeah. underneath the fireplace, the entrance to the caves? You know, one of the, the, the specific parts where they weren't cutting away, where they focused on it, was when Data, they're trying to get Data down mm-hmm. the entrance, and he's got that big backpack. Backpack, yeah. But there's no way that's bigger than Sloth. Right. Yeah, that was one of those things. It's like, man. We actually don't see Chunk and Sloth go down that same hole. Do you think it's possible that there's another entrance into the caves somewhere around the restaurant? There might be, but we have no reason to believe that they entered any other place. Because exactly. the Fratellis we see going down that hole. That's true. And we also – and Chunk saw them going down that, that particular I, hole. I so mean, that, we that have, had to be it. We have, we have to assume that based on what we've seen. We have to assume that. Right. But it just makes you wonder, man, that had to be a tight fit. Yeah. No, absolutely. And Sloth's a big guy. So um, – so, okay, Francis, is he holding – it's clear that he's holding a radio there with headphones. Do you think that's a police radio? I have no idea what that is. That's – the only thing that came to mind was that he's using that to detect police signals. Yeah, and then who said – didn't Jake say, don't touch that, I've worked yeah. two hours on it? And they're talking about the money printer, Yeah. the counterfeit money printer. Yeah. Their, their banter back and forth is hilarious. Yeah, it's really – yeah, you, it's like trying to figure out who's saying what. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, you know, remember another thing we had mentioned last minute is that Ma is always the alpha. Ma mm-hmm. is the one to stay focused. These other, I mean, she keeps yeah. them anytime they start to lead astray, she's much got them like in check. a four or five year old kid, and she smacks them. Yeah. You know, and, um, but that's when Ma says, uh, somebody's been here. 
the coolest propane. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know, just like and <laughs> but and then she wants somebody to go uh, check on her, check on the brother, and she slaps Jake. And this she's, isn't the first time that she, yeah. poor Jake is. She's getting, got that real like wide slap where she brings her hand like all the way out to the side and just it, smacks it right like in a, the air. It's like a right hook. Is that it? If it was a boxing terminology, right it'd be a, right, a right hook. There you go. But and, and did you see when when Jake starts? It's like he's about to cry. Yeah. And this is just more of just this yeah. lunatic of an individual, it's a psychopath, a yep. true psychopath right here. Yep. It's scary. Something happens here that was a happy accident. And when she goes to slap Jake, she catches the radio that Francis is holding, and part of it flies out and hits Jake. And then Jake walks off camera, and you can see uh, Joe Pantoliano, who plays Francis, trying to like hold in some laughter. It may have been. Oh, planned. I didn't catch that. That's yeah. Funny. It may have been planned. It may have been just a sort of a happy accident. But it's really funny, and it works. They all play it off perfectly. But uh, his, if you notice, his smile. I, I have to look at that because I, I was actually watching that minute on the phone, so I'm going to have to watch it where yeah. I can actually see a little bit better. Oh, one thing that I had to play over and over because I couldn't tell what Ma was saying is after she says, he better not have broken the chains. I don't want to. Yeah. I'm not going back to the zoo for, for another, another set. set. Whoa, yeah, I know. buddy. I had to look at that too because, uh, man, you know, as we that have. That was really interesting <laughs> there. I've yeah. never in all my years watching this movie. I've never heard that. That, that is, that's really something. Else. I couldn't. I, at first, I thought she was saying, "I'm not going back to the super or something." Yeah, like she has to go to the supermarket the to buy zoo, chains, man. but the zoo. Yeah. I wonder how. That was really I funny. was thinking, how do you think she got that from the zoo? Was it stolen, or if it wasn't stolen, what in the world you think she told them? Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's like, yeah exactly. Oh, it's just. <laughs> it's from our deformed son. Yeah. You know that I want to keep in a cage. I mean, I mean, come on. Oh man. yes, ma'am. Here you go. Yeah. Jeez, that's so crazy. Yeah. There's a lot going on in this minute in terms of them actually getting out, finally getting out of the restaurant, and or going underneath the restaurant for that matter. So the Goonies are now entering the caves. So they're, you know, they're going to be going into a sort of alien environment that there's no getting out of, and there's no turning back from. So they are about to be put in a position where, which we're going to get into in the next minute, where there's nowhere to go but ahead, and God only knows what kind of danger lies ahead. Yeah, and... You know, it's crazy. I really haven't. We really haven't mentioned the really how the minute starts with that stiff, and it yeah. is stiff again. I yeah, wanna, I know. I, I know. Remind you, but how it continues to just fall on top of chunk. Yeah. And but one of the things that's really really interesting, and I don't think it's realistic. I think it was put in the movie, and you probably have a note or know about it. I think it was put in the movie just kind of as, as a goof. But Chunk, you can see as Ma Fratelli follows uh, the brothers downstairs to check on the brother, check on their brother's law, that you can see Chunk in the window of the freezer, and he sneezes, Gesundheit. and you hear, Gesundheit. Yeah. Well, that, that actually that sounded just, just like her. Gesundheit. <laughs> but it's like, obviously... I don't know. Maybe she thought it was one of the brothers, but I thought it was really kind of it's like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of those yeah. moments where it's like, what? That's kind of cool. But I wonder if I wonder if like she really thought it was one of the brothers. Or Who knows? It was just, I think it's one of those things that could have been put in as a director's kind of as a goof, funny goof. It could have. You know, in a serious situation right there. Yeah. I kind of – I thought that was cool. It is cool. It's a cool Just like when, in, uh, when Good Enough is playing and the kids ride off on the bikes and you hear – Goonies! You remember that? It's <laughs> yeah, kind of reminded yeah. me of that for some reason. I don't know. Stuff you never catch. Yeah. Until you're breaking it down minute by minute. Well, look, uh, that is all that I have for this yeah, minute. How about you? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And okay. Chunk's just coming out of that freezer. Like, he's yeah. just opened up the freezer when, when, when the minute ends. So, So yeah, and in this next minute, we'll see about how uh, everybody's about to get disbanded and be heading separate ways to try and save the day. Will they make it? Tune in tomorrow. I don't know. If you haven't seen the movie yet, you don't <laughs> you know what they not make know. It. That's right. All right, everybody. That's it for uh, Minute 46. But again, I want to say this Saturday, we're going to be having our first ever Goonies Minute Patreon episode. We're going to be having Scott from Pirates of the Caribbean Minute on, and we're going to be talking about our top three favorite pirate-related movies. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if you are not a Patreon supporter of Pele Media... Then you can go to patreon.com slash Pele Media, and for $1 a month, you can get any future Goonies Minute Patreon episodes that we're going to have, 
All of our bonus episodes of Jurassic Park Minutes that we release every Saturday, and then our entire back catalog of Ghostbusters Minute bonus episodes. So again, go to patreon.com slash Media if you want to hear our bonus episode coming out Saturday. So anyway, that's it for Minute Number 46, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow with Minute Number 47, and until then, I'm Brady. And this is Chris. And we're here to remind you that Goonies never, never say die. die. Goonies Minute is a fan-supported podcast. If you like the show, then leave us a review on iTunes. You can find us at GooniesMinute.com, Facebook.com slash Goonies Minute, Twitter.com slash Goonies Minute, and at Instagram, at Goonies Minute. You can contact us at GooniesMinute at gmail.com. You've been listening to a Pele Media Podcast. For premium content and exclusive podcasts, visit us at Patreon.com slash Pele Media. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Pele Media and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Pele Media. Hey.